In the name of one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Have you ever wondered what would have become of Jesus' disciples without Pentecost? Without the coming of the Holy Spirit? Well, for one thing, life would have been much easier for them. They could have just gone back to their old way of life. They could have gone back to the homes and families and occupations that they had left behind when Jesus <coughs> first called to them, Come, follow me. They could have chopped the whole thing up to some fantastic three-year adventure with a very interesting and compassionate man. As it was, that little band of ordinary fishermen who huddled behind closed doors became a force for change in the world. That transformation from fear to courage and conviction is described in the book of Acts. The disciples are set on fire by this intense wind which impelled them to go out into the streets to speak to all that they met about God's deeds of power. And though they met some who scoffed, many more wanted to know how they were hearing the words of the disciples in their own languages. They wanted to know what this strange and amazing event meant. And 3,000 people from all different countries were baptized. This is the moment called the birth of the church because the disciples could no longer stay locked into their old ways of being. They rushed forth to do God's work in the world. In the Gospel of John, the Gospel of John describes a quieter setting. In the room where they gathered with the door locked out of fear for the authorities, <coughs> Jesus stood among them. He offered his peace to them and invited his disciples to receive the Holy Spirit, and he breathed on them. He promised that they now had the power that they needed to be a reconciling force in the world. As the Father sent me, so I send you. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. Peter recognized that the force that they experienced is the same spirit promised by God through the prophets. And he quoted the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. And your sons and your daughters will prophesy. The young shall have visions, and the old shall dream dreams. To the wondering crowd gathered on Pentecost, Peter declared that the words of Joel have come to pass. Old rules about power and inclusion are breaking open. All people, no matter their gender or class or ethnicity, will be given this same spirit. Those with little hope will begin to dream again. And ordinary people will receive the power and the courage to speak truth to power as did the prophets of old. That same spirit promised through the prophets, that same spirit given by Jesus, that same spirit that filled the disciples is looking to do a new thing in us. Whether the Spirit's inspiration comes to us as a dramatic, fiery charge, 
or on the wings of a still, small voice. All people can receive God's vision for a world in which differences can be celebrated, appreciated, and utilized for the common good. Whether the spirit moves in deeply <laughs> mystical ways or in more ordinary moments, all people can be awakened and gifted to be instruments of healing for this fragile earth, our island home. Like the early disciples huddled together in the upper room, we might feel frightened by the events in the world around us. We may feel locked in by uncertainty, but how to move forward when we're faced with big decisions or obstacles? When concerns such as these arise, remember Jesus' invitation to receive the spirit which is continually offered to us. Breathe in God's spirit. Breathe in God's presence and God's peace. Breath prayer is a, an ancient Christian prayer practice dating back to at least the 6th century. Historically, it's associated with the Eastern churches, particularly the Greek and Russian Orthodox churches. Breath prayers can be used at any place and any time. They're perfect for long commutes in the car, or sitting at one's desk at school or work. They can provide a mini Sabbath in the midst of a busy day, a time to be aware of God's presence any time of day. So I invite you to try it now. First, make sure you're sitting comfortably with both feet on the floor. I invite you to close your eyes and recall a line from Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. Be still, calm, and open to the presence of God. Taking a slow, deep breath, breathe in the words, God's peace, and then breathe out the words, God's presence. I need you to do this a few more times, breathing in slowly, God's peace, and breathing out the words, God's presence. God's Spirit is with us, right here in our midst. And today is someone's Pentecost. Every day is someone's Pentecost. God, Holy Spirit, is not limited to just one moment in time or to a date on the calendar. Receive the Holy Spirit. Let her inspire you move you and strengthen you to leave our gathering this morning with your heart on fire with god's transforming love let us pray we are on the threshold lord <coughs> send forth your spirit and renew our lives renew the face of the earth send us out to heal in your name Amen.